Okay, we have, um, we are currently in seven regions. Okay. Um, that is uh, Zambezi, uh, Kavango region, mm -hmm. Oshkoto, Oshana, Omusati, and then Ohangwena and Komas. So we have dedicated um, circumcision teams that are basically just doing circumcision, nothing else. So men can actually go to um, health facilities in all in those regions so that they can seek for these services. Okay. Yes. Uh, Nurse Rauna, would you also remind us why it is important for men uh, uh, to be circumcised as well as the benefits thereof? Okay, there are a lot of benefits um, in, when it comes to male circumcision. Mm -hmm. The main one uh, which we are actually talking about is uh, the reduction when it comes to HIV transmission, transmission which is 60%. Um, let me make this clear. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that if a man is circumcised, they are actually 100% safe. It's only up to 60%, meaning the other 40%, they can actually use other methods to protect themselves. That's abstinence, mm -hmm. um, being faithful, using condoms. Okay, and then the other reason is um, men who are circumcised have lower chances of um, contracting medical conditions that are, are usually targeting the foreskin. Mm -hmm. And then the other reason um, is that um, in, in younger boys, if a child is circumcised, they have lower risk of contracting urinary tract infections. And in adult men, they have um, a benefit of not contracting penile, I mean, cancer of the penis. Okay. And then indirectly, women do benefit as well. If your partner is circumcised, you stand a lower chance of contracting cancer of the cervix.